Hello guys and welcome to another video and this time I will be talking about the car customization and tuning up the car. So the first thing that you need to do is just install the white body kit. So mine is already installed but it's around 50,000 credits. So be careful how you spend your money because you can see I'm, I'm running out of money and it's just very very hard to get it on this game. So I put all of the modifications so you can put the side skirts, you can put the you know, you can put everything on the front to the left, uh, I mean, it just, it really feels good to you so you can modify the car like this, but first, put the white body kit, so it's very important if you put the modifications first, and then you'll just have to do all of that all over again. Uh, about these settings, so here, I'm pretty much buying everything that I can, you don't have to buy exactly everything, as I describe it here, so you just want to get the best, yeah, I would say the best possible you know the best possible output of the car it doesn't really matter which kind of you know which kind of parts do you have but as long as they are racing parts so you can modify them so you don't have to buy everything just buy the high-end stuff but you have to buy the weight reduction from the first stage to the second one to the third and to the fourth one so you have to do all of the stages and you also want to increase your body rigidity because i believe it's you know it's a little bit better for the car uh, as you can see i'm not buying all of the parts i'm just buying the racing parts and also one very important thing here is that you need to buy the extreme brakings so i would say you need to buy the extreme brakes so these are racing brakes and you can find it on the, the extreme tab and as you can see i'm not using the medium rpm turbocharger i'm just using the high rpm one and later you'll see that i'm not even using the high-end one so i probably didn't have to buy it but you know live and learn i guess so now we're gonna get into the modification part of it and as i said before the most important parts are the brakes and the engine so just make sure that you can upgrade the engine and you can really move uh, move it up from the left to the right. It doesn't matter. So you can kind of adjust the braking output and you, and you can actually adjust anything on the car, which is quite important. So as you can see, carbon ceramic brake kit. I've got the steering angle adapter, which I don't think it's working. You know, it, it's not really working on this game. I mean, I'm, it might be, but I didn't really see any difference in here. So sport hard tires for this daily race B. And you can see all of the parts that I'm using are fully customizable. So you can see the suspension is fu fully customizable, the ECU is fully customizable, everything. So I had to say that, yeah, this is these are the most important parts and you wanna keep your car as low as possible. So I'm moving up the ballast here, but you don't have to do that because literally it's zero. It, you didn't you didn't even add up any weight but this is the important part right here so the manual adjustment of the transmission so you can pretty much copy the settings right there and that's going to be pretty much about that so the downforce i'm just using a little bit of downforce i'm not using that much so it's kind of in the middle but it's very important to you to note that if you want to get 295 horsepower you got to use the sport intercooler rather than the racing one I think you can probably modify the car a little bit different so you can get the better output of the car, but those were my settings. So now let's go for a lap here. Just before the curb, I'm braking, and then uh, you can actually see that I'm not using the full braking as I'm starting to turn in. So this is very important, otherwise the car will slide a lot and you will not be able to control it. So my first turn wasn't the best, but as you can see, I'm going very, very wide there, using a little bit of brakes, downshifting in the third, and then early on the brakes so you want to get as wide as possible entry into this one so you can open up the throttle really really early so once again not a lot of braking maybe up to 50 60 percent and then third gear third gear on the way out it's very important to get out in third because the car really starts to slide in second you might want to try it in second but as you can see all around the circuit i'm just going out in higher gears i'm not even down in the first here getting I mean, a clean, almost a, almost a clean exit there, but it was, in the end, it was very fast, so, yeah, it was, it was a pretty good one in my, actually, I spent a lot of time here, yeah, I mean, I spent a lot of time doing this one, but if you, you know, if you're liking this one, you can actually hit the like, sub, like button or even subscribe to the channel, so, uh, a couple of things that you 
want to note is that I want to get this turn as late as possible. So you want to carry that uh, speed onto this main straight. So I lost a bit of time, didn't really catch the apex, like the, literally the apex, but I believe it was okay. Stay on the left hand side of the track, cut it, and then I mean, the car is pretty stable even with a low downforce setting. So guys, if you like what I'm doing, you can yeah you can leave that like and that's about it thank you very much for watching this one and if you want to say something you can do that in the comments down below let me know if you what do you think about my setups and what do you think i should improve on thank you very much and enjoy bye